We're in our new active learning classroom. What this room does, even though it holds 96 students at a time, it allows for the students to work with each other and interact with the instructor, interact with, with TAs in a way that you can't do in a regular lecture classroom. Having a room like this, it's really made the people on the committee creative. So we have really been focused on not just creating active learning, but really thinking about finding the most important biology concepts that we can then integrate really nicely multiple times across the one year course. It's very much based on uh, student engagement. So when you have a teacher standing up front, some students are, are fairly skilled at that kind of interaction and they're, they'll take some in. Other students just zone out whether they want to or not. One of the shifts that we will see in a classroom like this is that rather than a professor having a pedestal or a podium at the front of the classroom, they're actually going to be moving around the classroom. There is no front to this classroom and that was by design. We don't want somebody standing at the front of the room telling students what they need to know. There's no need for that anymore. It's all already out there. What we need is people to help those students figure out what's important and how to decipher that as well as how to integrate that into their real world skills that they'll need. The most important thing is for each student to become engaged with a question. So instead of being a passive recipient of the information that we pour down their throats, they actually have to engage with these concepts. Students learn more when they wrestle with the material, when they ask questions and they answer them and they talk about that with their peers. It feels different in that you're sitting in groups and, and even that nature by itself, you tend to get uh, have closer associations with people you're sitting next to. It leads that focus to, to small group activities. We know that active learning really does improve student understanding, student retention of the material. They can recall it two, three years later. Whereas when they sit passively in the lecture hall, we're lucky if they remember it for the final exam. It's kind of amazing um, to see the kinds of solutions that students can come up with when they're actually uh, engaged and expected to do it. This is our room for increasing expectations. What we're actually going to be able to do in this classroom is share ideas in real time as we're developing them and refine them across the room. Again, another thing that we couldn't do in a lecture hall. At a basic level, part of the impressive piece of this room is that it has so many computers that you can use. And, and you know exactly what the capabilities are of those computers, so you can base things around that. Um, so it's not a concern of whether, whether students will have a computer or not. This classroom incorporates the latest in technology for um, active learning environments and for student learning in general. We know today that students have information um, and knowledge at the tip of their fingers. It's simply on their smartphone or looking it up on the tablet. Um, they don't need teachers anymore to tell them the knowledge that's out there. It really shifts the way you're learning. And, and how actively engaged you are in the process. It's a different world that we're stepping into and that we're preparing our students for today. And an environment like this actually better supports them in moving towards that new world than the traditional lecture halls that we grew up with. Instead of memorizing their way through college, they're gonna come out of here being able to think about the information that's out there, how to use it.